Today in my kitchen I have made a really nice big batch of lentil squash soup. It's so easy to make, it's got warming spices in it. I've made a whole lot so that I can batch make it and put some in the freezer as well. So let's go see how easy it is to make. And quickly, please do subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. That helps me massively and I really appreciate it. So you can use any sort of winter squash that you have available. This is a, a crown prince. This is a golden butternut squash. You wanna cut them up and then scoop out the inners and then just chop them into wedges. So that's about one and a half kilos of winter squash and it's actually going to shrink down when I roast it in the oven and then we're going to put them in the oven until I can easily pierce them all with a fork. And I'm just going to let that cool down for a little bit because it'll be a little bit too hot to handle at the moment. So the best thing to do is to cook your lentils first in a pan and then add your water. I've got the measurements in the description so go check that out. And then you want to get a piece of ginger. Think about a really thick thumb sized piece and go about an inch or a couple of centimeters down. You want to finely grate that or you can just chuck it in the blender when you blend in the squash. That's completely up to you. Add say, a heaped tablespoon of garam masala or maybe a couple of tablespoons of ground coriander and a little bit of cumin. And then you also want your sea salt and you know, black pepper or white pepper. And then if you're using a fairly high powered blender, you can actually leave the skins on. If you're gonna um, blend it up with a hand blender, you probably just wanna peel the skins off there. You can just scoop it out. So you can either blend everything in the blender or you can use a hand blender or an immersion blender to blend everything by hand really nice and smooth and if you have a taste of it and if you want to add anything extra in now is your time to do it so what you'll probably notice if you leave it overnight it's going to become incredibly thick all we need to do is add some extra water to it to thin it right down again and the beautiful thing about leaving it overnight is that all those flavors are going to dance and combine is gonna taste even better the next day. Look at how delicious and creamy that is. I do hope that you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Let me know how you get on in the comments and if you'd make any adaptations and stay tuned. And I look forward to seeing you in the kitchen soon. Bye for now.